Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents Do Some Dog Breeds Have a Better Sense of Smell? Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Have you ever seen a search dog? What breed of dog was it? Search dogs are specially trained to detect explosives, drugs, or diseases. To be good at this job, search dogs must have a sharp sense of smell and the ability to cooperate with humans. Common breeds of search dogs include German and Belgian Shepherds, Labradors, and Border Collies. But are these dogs better at smelling than other breeds? Or is it their training and cooperation that make them good at the job? We wanted to find out whether some dogs are naturally better at smelling than others. So we used a test called the Natural Detection Task to compare how well dogs can find food using their nose without any previous training. We tested all the dogs with the same setup. We then compared specific breed groups and different breeds. We found that some breeds were better at smelling than others, but dog breeds that humans have selectively bred for their ability to smell were not always the better performers. Introduction. Humans keep dogs for a wide range of reasons. Many people choose a certain dog breed because they are cute, friendly, or energetic. But in the past, we needed dogs to help with tasks such as hunting, herding sheep, or guarding against predators. To do this, humans chose dogs for a certain trait. The selected dogs reproduced and had puppies, many of which had the desired trait. Humans, then again, chose those puppies most suited to the particular task. Over time, that trait became more pronounced and more common. We call this artificial selection. Dog breeds emerged from artificial selection for different traits. For example, German Shepherds were bred for herding sheep. In contrast, Beagles were bred for hunting small game animals. In our study, we wanted to know whether dogs bred for olfaction, their sense of smell, are still talented sniffers today. We also wanted to know if the personality of a dog affected its ability to smell well. Some of the dogs in our study had various levels of previous training but some had none at all. This allowed us to focus on the dog's natural ability to smell food. Methods. We use the natural detection task to find out whether some dogs naturally have better olfaction than others. This is a simple activity in which dogs have to find a certain amount of food in a natural search situation. It takes place in a field or in an empty room. Before the test, we laid out four pots in a line one of the pots concealed a food container. Once the test began, the dog needed to identify the pot with the food within a minute. There were three levels to the test. Each dog needed to pass one level before moving to the next. In the first level, the food containers were open under the pots. In the second level, the containers had lids with holes. In the third level, the food containers were fully sealed. The test was over if the dog did not choose the correct pot three times in a row. We used three factors to measure how well a dog did in the natural detection task. One, if the dog passed the third level. Two, how many levels the dog passed and how many tries it took. And three, how quickly the dog made successful choices. We compared breed groups or groups of dogs selected for smelling, cooperation, or both. We also compared breeds. Finally, we examined traits like responsiveness, activity, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and previous training. We wanted to see if these had an impact on their success. Here in figure one, you can see a dog owner leads a dog through the natural detection task. The dog must identify the pot covering a container with food. In the image, there are four pots on the ground. The dog is standing with its nose pressed toward the closest pot. The owner is standing on the left side of the image holding the dog's leash. Results. We were able to compare dogs within the same breed and between different breed groups. Breed groups. None of the breed groups had significantly better scores than another. Each breed group had better and worse performing breeds. Breeds. Some breeds were more successful but other breeds were quickest at completing the levels. For example, Border Collies were especially good at reaching the highest level in the task, but Beagles were quickest at completing the last level successfully. Here in Figure 2, you can see how well each breed performed on Level 3 of the Natural Detection task. 
On the x-axis, you can see the dog breeds separated into breed groups. On the left is the olfactory breed group, which consists of beagles, hounds, and Russell Terriers. These are in dark purple. In the middle is the olfactory and cooperative breed group, which consists of Cocker Spaniels, Golden Retrievers, Labradors, and Vizlas. You can see these in orange. On the right is the cooperative breed group, which consists of Belgian Shepherds, Border Collies, and German Shepherds. You can see these in light purple. On the y-axis, you can see the percentage of dogs that passed level three of the test. The specific percentage for each breed can be seen in white overlaid on the bar for that breed. Looking at the graph, were there any significant differences between the breed groups? What was similar? Personality and training. Dogs that were more responsive to training perform better overall. Other traits, such as excitability and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, did not affect success. Dogs with more advanced training were slower on the last level. Discussion. Our results show that breed groups don't really tell us if a dog will be good at smelling or not. Dogs that were bred for olfaction, for working with people, or for both, had similar task results. This might be because people used to breed dogs for these skills, but this has decreased in recent years. This is called relaxed selection. Today, people usually breed dogs based on how they look or how well they get along with people. We also saw a lot of differences between dogs of the same breed. This shows that each dog's genes and individual life experiences matter a lot. The natural detection task is a helpful tool for comparing how well different dogs can smell. Unlike many previous studies, the task relies on the natural lure of food, so dogs with no training can be tested. This can provide early information about how well a dog might perform if trained as a search dog. After all, dogs don't naturally want to find things like explosives or drugs. These smells don't mean anything to them, so they need training to identify them and then alert the handler. The natural detection task allows us to assess a dog's natural, untrained olfactory ability. Conclusion. Modern research shows that some old ideas about animal skills or traits may not be true. We are always learning new things about how animals think, learn, and solve problems. You can explore these ideas by asking questions and observing animals around you. You can also use this thinking in your own life. Do people make assumptions about others based on how they look, where they're from, or what group they belong to? Instead of accepting those ideas, first ask yourself, is that really fair or true? Thank you for listening to this recording. This work has been adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Scientific Reports, published on January 21, 2025. Research conducted by Attila Salomon, Adam McClosey, Laszlo Robert Giros, from Hun Ren Elt Comparative Ethology Research Group, and the NAP Canine Brain Research Group, both at Elt at Vos Lorand University in Hungary. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Please visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources. Hey everyone, we're a small nonprofit and all of our resources are free. So if you like what you see, please subscribe and share.